Today, in finite state morphology, we will be looking at non-concatenative processes. Most of the content that we have covered previously in this course has covered concatenative forms of morphology, processes of word formation that involve concatenation. Concatenative descriptions are, us are usually helpful for a large set of languages and a large set of phenomenon. However, there are languages where there are non-concatenative processes at play. One of the classic examples is reduplication in Indonesian and Malaysian. Here are some examples taken from the textbook. On the left, we have four noun roots, the words for child, book, bicycle, and cow. On the right, we see that these can be reduplicated to form the plural. The forms on the left, anak, buku, and so on, are underspecified with respect to number. The forms on the right are explicitly plural, referring to children, books, bicycles, and cows. In the next lecture, we will be covering how to actually model this process, reduplication, using XFST. Today, we'll be looking at a small example that will prepare us for that use case. Here we see figure 8.7 from the finite state morphology textbook. This figure is what we are going to be following through in this lecture. In this figure, we see a trivial finite state machine. The first arc on the upper side has epsilon, here represented as zero. On the lower side of the first arc, we have a multi-character symbol that is a caret followed by an opening square bracket. The corresponding closing symbol a caret followed by a closing square bracket, is at the final arc on the lower side. In the middle, we have A and star. The XSFT toolkit has a special mechanism to handle non-concatenative morphology. This process is called the compile-replace algorithm. The compile-replace algorithm takes as its input a finite state machine. The compile-replace algorithm looks at the sequence of labels on the arcs in the machine and attempts to find a sequence that is of the form of a regular expression. Importantly, the compile-replace algorithm will only compile a regular expression that it finds if that regular expression is found between the delimiters shown here, the caret open square bracket and caret lower closing square bracket. Specifically, the compile-replace algorithm will perform this operation on the lower side of the network or the upper side of the network, depending on the command that you give. For that reason, this example has the open and closing special square brackets only on the lower side of the network, not on both. Let's fire up XFST and see how this works in practice.
we are now going to define a finite state machine that looks like this. We will define a regular expression consisting of an epsilon arc on the upper side, followed by the multi-character symbol that you see here. On the next arc, we will have an A on the upper and lower sides. On the next arc, a star on the upper and lower sides. And finally, the last arc epsilon on the upper side with the special symbol on the lower side. Here we see the network. We can now run the compile replace algorithm on the lower side of the network. The network has changed. At this point, the upper side of the network represents the regular expression a star. The lower side of the network represents the actual compiled out value of A star, literally zero or more A's. We can validate this by typing in a lower side string. Every lower side string consisting of zero or more A's will map on the upper side to A star. If we run apply down on A star, it will map to all of the possibilities here only a few are shown.